OK, Carl, thanks uh, for talking to us. Well, welcome three points today. Yeah, definitely. I think that's what, you know, what it was all about, really, after the, the run of defeats and stuff like that. I think uh, great credit to the players because, you know, all the messages that we were sending into him to keep believing and keep playing the football and they adhere to that to the letter today. And I got the rewards that we've not had pro probably over the past few weeks, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, we had that uh, possession thing going on in, in the first half, which we, we've had often this year. Yeah. But they were struggling, in a sense, to get it away from the back four, weren't they? Because they were pressing pretty well. Yeah, well, you know, when you're playing against a, a good team, there's going to be uh, there's going to be times where the, it's going to be difficult. That's where the other part of the game that we've spoken about with them is, is being organised and making sure that we're hard to beat when that happens. And I thought we did that. Gave them very little opportunity, um, you know, against... To, to get any chances um, and in the end I think we, we got just I, I was speaking to one or two people after the game and uh, people seem to think that, that that was perhaps Jerome's best performance of the season yeah. um, playing at left back yeah. um, so how, how do you manage him doing that because he's, he's got a tendency to shoot forward and uh, I want him to do that Yeah, you know, yeah. we want our full backs to be pushed on we want to play yeah. nice and high um, I think in the modern game um, your full backs are nine times out of ten wingers you know, if you look at um, any team that you want, you want to look at, really, the nine times out of ten, the fullback, the, you know, one of Jerome's great strengths is, is his energy, his enthusiasm, and, um, and also he's, he's got a bit of quality about him, as we've seen today. I, I totally agree with you about the probably his best best performance, um, probably since he returned to the club, to be honest. But, yeah. um, you know, so that that's a, um, a a great pat on the back for Jay because you know he, he's, he's an honest lad and he'll be uh, he'll, he'll build from that um, and we'll see more of it. And of course, you you are dependent on your uh, your back four, uh, the other back three being pretty solid in covering for him, aren't you? When he's going forward, and they did that today. As well. That's it. Yeah, we, we spoke about that. Sometimes we were too expansive, and that's how we've been conceding goals. Um, when in possession, um, when it breaks down, we make we've got to make sure that we're organised and we get back into a, a nice tight defensive shape. Um, which I think we, we did that to you know, Marine were always going to have a, a, a part in the game, and I think they had probably about ten minutes um, just after we yeah, scored. Yeah, where they, they, did, yeah. they, were, they were threatening. So, but what we saw, we saw another another aspect of our playing. You know, we. Over the course of the past few weeks, we've been seeing last-ditch tackles and um, blocks against yeah. us. Um, yeah. Our lads had to do that today in, in that little ten minutes, and I thought they did it admir admirably. How did you how did you approach it in terms of uh, the, the sort of wing as well, the number seven and number eleven, Astley and uh, Wolfie? Um, it's it, it's a little bit difficult to sense from the sidelines sometimes whether they're meant to be out wide coming inside. What 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 are your instructions to those two? They're fluid. Right. Sometimes come inside because that'll create an opportunity for the fullback to to get round you. Um, you know we've seen. I think it was the Stamford game at home when Ashley's come on and he's he's, he's received the ball in the inside channel, threaded one through to Matt Warren and he, he went on to score. You know, so he's getting the players in the right areas. Um, yeah. And then obviously it's down to them to produce. But it doesn't matter whether he stays wide. If, if he stays wide, then somebody will, will, will yeah. fill that inside track. Um, if he comes inside, then somebody will go outside. So it's it's pretty basic, really. Right. You know, I, I think I, the the key to it all though is is having that fluidity of movement and not being rigid and. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, in it, in I think who's the who's the I was listening to today? It was Paul Merson. He was talking about um, the game. At, the Etihad on Wednesday when you saw Bayern Munich yeah. playing against the 4 4 2 and just taking it to pieces. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and he said, you know, he said, I still play on a Sunday and we don't even play 4 4 2 anymore. So, <laughs> but I must say, all, all that is, you know, formations 4 4 2, 4 5, 1 4, 3 3, whatever, whichever formation you want to go at. Um, it's only how the game starts. And yeah, once sure. you get that fluidity of movement yeah. in there, um, you know, and, and make sure the players trust themselves to to get on the ball, and um, it pretty much goes out of the window. To be honest, it's, it's about what the players do. Yeah, and, and what we can be certain of was that was a peach of a cross from Astley for uh, Greg Daniels. To put in. And the, the move just leading up to it, you know, like keeping the ball, keeping the ball, and then hitting them in behind, you know, sucking them out, hitting them in behind, and you know, Astley's Astley's been magnificent over the past few weeks. You know, he found himself out of the out of the side not long ago, yeah. and, and not even on the bench. Um, you know, he's given me the response that I was certainly looking for 
from that. Um, he's, he's got his head down, worked hard, and um, I sold him to prove me wrong. And, you know, with, with crosses like that, uh, he, he is. He's going to he's prove me wrong. And uh, Chris Worsley back in the side, that will please you this afternoon? Yeah, you know, we, we, we have definitely missed Worsley's yeah. engine. You know, yeah. his, his ability to get around the pitch and keep things simple. I thought he was different class. Uh, Adam Jones on the bench. I, I would imagine that you were hoping beyond hope that he didn't have to put him on the pitch this afternoon. Am, am I right or am I wrong? I wouldn't, but I, if it came to it and I'd had to, then I would have done because he's, you know, right. he, he's at that point now where he needs to be playing games. Um, we're going to be sorting something out with development squads, and um, they've got a game on Tuesday night behind closed doors. Friendly, so that'll be something we can get Adam involved in and get him. Um, get him up to speed and yeah, sure. banging on that pressure, you know, because we've still we've got Charlie Ragland and Tom Davis to come back into that equation yeah. as well. Presu- presumably, Tom Davis is available Tuesday because he was suspended today, was he? he? I think he's got one more game. Oh, is he right? He's okay. Got a three game band in okay. um, So I think he'll be. Um, yeah, I think I think Tuesday. I think Mike, Mike Norton's done now. Yeah. But Tom Davis got one more game. Yeah, but you, you'll be pleased with Andy Pearson and Dean Stock this afternoon anyway, covering in the middle. Yeah. Excellent, you know, it's, it's one of the strengths of the squad that you can drop Dean, Dean start into centre half, bring Dave Birch in, or vice versa, and, um, you know, it's seamless really. I think it's been probably overplayed because of the results that, yeah. <laughs> that we've been having where people have been, well, we're missing him and we're missing that yeah, person, yeah. but um, I stick by what I've said all along with the performances have been, have been, have been decent decent just not been uh, finishing the chances and uh, two away games this week so we, we, we have a chance to push on even further haven't we yeah hopefully you know that that's the aim now if we can great buoyant mood, mood in the in the dressing room after the game you know when the uh, the players realise that they're all in it together and if they, if they work like they have done today for each other um, it'll be you know it'll be what we're looking for anyway. Well, we, we were certainly looking for a, for a win today, Carl, and we, and we got that.